What is going on guys and welcome to episode 17 of my Training 2 Manchester United series. Once again guys I want to thank you for the support that you show me on these episodes and this whole series in general. You guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, last video was a mass bidding technique, I've shown you how I actually do it and stuff like that. If you've missed that there will be a link in the description below to the series playlist so you can go and check that out. That is episode 16. So we're going to go on with the trades in this episode. We haven't spent all the coins, uh, but we've picked up quite a few nice trades, I would say. I uh, picked up a Julius Cesar 352 for 2.5, one in the 4122 for 3.5, another Julius Cesar in the 352 for 2.5, another one in the 4122 for 3.5, and then the last Julius Cesar for 2.5 in the 352. Then we picked up a CDM Cessignol for 9.7, hopefully get about 11k for him. Then we picked up an Arteta for 3.5 in the 352. Then we picked another one up for 2.8. They picked up another Arteta in the 4-1-2-1-2 for 4.5. Then another Michael Arteta in the CDM for 3-5-2 for 3.2. And then we picked up a Dembele in the 3-5-2 for 7.5. Hopefully get about 9.5, 10k for him. Uh, Dede, uh, from the last episode, you were seeing that I put some bids on some players. And these are the ones that I got. I got Dele 4.1. Uh, another one for 1.1. I picked up a Fletcher by now for 1.1 1 .1 in the 352. Picked up another Dede for 1k, another one for 1k, another one for 1k, another one for 1100, and then another Dede for 1k. Then we picked up Dembele in the 4 triple 2 CDM for 8.9. Hopefully get a 10k for him. And then we picked one, another one up in the 4 triple 2 for 7.5. About the same for him. Then we picked up Santana for 1 2 2 for 4.1. Then another one for 4.1 and then another one for 4.3. Then we picked up an Anderson in the CDM 4122 for 650 coins. By now, a very, very nice deal. Can probably get about 3.5k, 4k for him. Then we picked up another Anderson in the 352 for 1.7. Hopefully get about 2.5 for him. So we've actually picked up some quite nice trades. Hopefully I'll be on 115, maybe 120. I'm going to say about 120k hopefully. But yeah guys, I'm going to go and list all these players up and then I'll get back to you once they've all sold. So I'll see you in a second. And we are back guys and as you can see, everything that's sold and we're up to 119,010 coins. You're probably thinking that's only about a 12k profit. Yes, it's only about a 12k profit. Uh, I just want to quickly say is I picked these trades up after 44 hours of not sleeping. I didn't sleep for 44 hours. I didn't sleep over the whole of the weekend. Oops, sorry, I probably just knocked my mic there. But yeah, I did not sleep for the whole of the weekend just gone uh, I was up the whole of Saturday night and Sunday night and I've done these trades uh, Monday no I was up the whole of Friday night and the whole of Saturday and I've done these trades in the Sunday daytime so I had no sleep at all I think I had about three hours sleep and I was up for about 44 hours altogether over the weekend uh, the Friday night and the Saturday night and then the day Sunday I was absolutely out of it I was just I don't even know what I was doing myself to be honest at some points so I picked up these trades so they weren't the best trades but I still managed to make profit though that's what I'm pretty happy about I haven't slept for over 44 or 45 hours and I still managed to make 12k profit I think there was a couple of players that I did lose out a little bit on but not I might have only just like pushed even on them but we sold Julius as our 3k another one for 4k another one for 3k Another one for 4k and another one for 3k. So we made a very nice profit on all those Julius Cesars. I think it's about 2.5k profit on all of them. Cessignol, he actually sold for 11k and I think we picked him up for about 9.8 by now. So it's not very much profit but it's still a little profit. Arteta, he sold 4k. The other one for 3.2. two. Another one for 5k and another one for 3.3. The one for 3.2 and 3.2. 3.3 and 3.2 just wouldn't sell. So I had to lower their price and eventually it did sell. Uh, the Dembele in the 3.52 sold for 9k. Uh, Dede sold for 1.6, another one for 1.6. Fletcher actually sold for 2,000 coins. Another Dede for 1.5, another one for 1.5, another one for 1.5, and another one for 1.6. Then another Dede for 1.5. Then these two Dembele's, I just could not sell them. This one here, I eventually did sell uh, for 9.3. Uh, I think I paid it like 8.8 .8 for him, so I've got to think make a loss on him, I'm not sure. You guys can drop that in the comments below if you can work that out on the top of your head. Did we make a little loss on him? And then this other Dembele, we picked up 7.5 and we sold for 8.5. So there's a little profit on him. Santana, he sold 4.6. Uh, another Santana for 4.5. Anderson actually sold for 3k. Uh, another Santana for 4.8. And then another Anderson for 2.4. So 
So everything did eventually sell. It did take a while for it to sell. But we made profit. I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, my sleeping pattern was screwed. So I traded while I was a bit not all there. And I still managed to make profit. So I'm not going to complain about that. 12k profit. I'll take that any day of the week. Um, I did say in, the, in one of the last episodes. I was, I was just checking that Belly's price at the time. When I was trying to sell him. Uh, I was going to pick up cleverly as a cam. Because... You never ever seem to be able to find him in the CDM. So I'm actually just going to go and quickly make sure that there is not on the market as a CDM. Uh, I know there's inform ones, uh, which we'll be picking up in the Road to Glory style of this. I uh, see there is never none. So we're going to just go and quickly pick him up as a cam because he's very, very cheap. He's like 500 coins probably. Yep. Check his contracts. 450, 450, 450 the cheapest, so to buy this one. 450 coins, and we bought that one. So cleverly's out the way. Uh, cleverly actually won't be in the team now then. He'll be there. But we still have them. So we just need to get Vidic uh, for the team, Rooney and Nanny. Uh, there's quite a few on the bench we still need to get some of the silvers, uh, like Paul Skulls, uh, CDM, we need to get Butner, King, Dede, Pal. So still quite a few, there probably is a lot more that I haven't said, but I will definitely will pick them up eventually. Amos as well, because he's a silver goalkeeper, but we're picking them up, up eventually. I'm just going to build the coins up a bit more, so like I said, if I bought Nanny, I'm still down to 100k then. That's fine with me because I still have a lot to trade with. But yeah, guys, apologies. It wasn't the best profit in this episode. It was only about 12k, but that was my fault for not sleeping. But if you have enjoyed this episode, uh, please remember to leave a like on this video. It really does mean a lot, and I really do appreciate it. And it really does help me out, and really does motivate me, and really does help out my channel. And as well, if you're new around here, and it's the first time you've seen me or heard me, uh, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. So thank you for watching, guys. Take care, and I will see you soon. Cheers.